right, here we go. This is uh, the moment I've been waiting for. I haven't done this for a really long time. Welcome to the Playroom Experiment. My name is Mike, coming to you from southwestern Ontario. So welcome to everybody and anybody who uh, has nothing better to do. Uh, well, I'll tell you. My phone's ringing. <laughs> nothing like your cell phone ringing at the beginning of a live stream. I'm assuming if it's important... They'll leave a message. It's all good. So I've been really wanting to uh, play this game Dome Keeper. And uh, we might as well not waste any time. I'm just glad to be back. And uh, yeah, here we are. Let's go ahead and do this. This just came out last week, I think. And uh, before we go any further, I really want to thank uh, our sponsor for our live stream channel which is District Beta in a uh, city called Sarnia, Ontario. And uh, they are a sponsor because they support a project that uh, we have called the Playroom Experiment. Uh, in short, um, the reason we have this channel is to create awareness about a humanitarian initiative that builds inclusive play spaces for um, young kids that are living with special needs, families that are living with special needs, kids struggling with social is isolation, and just for the sake of um, strengthening community ties, we even provide uh, play spaces for seniors. And we have students, young, uh, young and old, gather cross-generational gaming. It's a lot of fun. Uh, if we have time, I'm, I've got a whole pile of pictures uh, from over the summer to show you what we've done. And it's the reason, part of the reason, I haven't been able to stream video games in quite some time. Um... You have better stuff to do, but you're still here. I remember you from... You know, I feel like, now that I see the username, you've... I know you. You were on... Were, you've been on past streams before, haven't you? But I haven't seen you in so long. Are you the person that lives in Baltimore? You were, Or you were watching The Witness when I was streaming The Witness before. I hope that you at least went to sleep, Narc. You need to write an essay. <laughs> See? I mean, I haven't done this in a while, and I, I, I remember people when I can, so that's not bad for a middle-aged guy who sometimes forgets where he puts his socks uh, for the next day. But nice to have you. Um, yeah, I can't remember... I think we played something before. But if I remember, you live in Baltimore, and we we tried playing online uh, a couple of times. So nice to have you. You're still doing the school thing, I see. So this is today's game, Dome Keeper. And uh, I figured this is a... Uh, I really love indie games, so I figured this was uh, this was a good way to, to break in the, the streaming gear again. And uh, yeah... Might as well uh, quit yammering and uh, there we go, Narc. I'll make you a star, put you in the broadcast there. The royalty checks in the mail, all right? I hope you're doing well. It's nice to nice to have you here. So I fiddled with this a little bit yesterday, probably for about 20 minutes. I was just doing a live stream uh, test, if we will. I want I wanted to make sure that everything was still working, um, and it seemed to go fine technically. So, here I am. We're going to start a new game. And I, I have much to discover when it comes to this game. But I will tell you, I, I'm, not, I'm not certain that you would be able to appreciate this. Because I know you're a, a, a young one, so to speak. <laughs> but when I was a kid, of course, the arcade spaces were uh, pretty popular. And this is the kind of game if arcades were still popular. I mean, I guess they, they come back, but now they put in these silly quick games like, you know, how many balls can you catch? Or, you know, hitting a hammer and trying... It's, they're, they're silly arcade games that you find now in like the Dave and Buses and stuff like that. But this would have been, you know, in, in terms of classic arcade style games, I can go back to the 80s, even if you look at the graphics in our banner for Dome Keeper. You look at those graphics, I can see that on a marquee on an arcade machine. I can I can completely see this game uh, being played over and like I can see it being the hit. 
you know, back in the 80s. It's got a simplicity to it. Uh, I'm sure it's going to go deeper than what I have seen. Uh, but, um, with that said, I, I feel like if, if I was still in the 80s and I walked into an arcade and this game showed up, it would be incredibly popular. So, I think I'm very limited in terms of the kind of dome I can have, the kind of engineer I can have, uh, or I guess the character. My character is an engineer. My shield is one choice, and my mode, I think, is one choice. Yeah, none of this is unlocked yet, so proof in the pudding that I have uh, not gone very far into this game. And uh, so that's why we're going to keep things easy for now. Because uh, at my age, uh, the bones creak a little bit more. And uh, that includes my fingers. So we're going to take our time here. This has a very similar art style a little bit uh, as that of Out of This World. It really reminds me of um, it reminds me of that art style, especially with the aliens, the silhouetted shaped aliens is really cool. Okay, so all I know right now is I have a computer and I have a machine that can churn resources, and I better hurry up uh, and make this quick. I, I I've come to learn that time is of the essence here, so we got to try and knock off a couple quick resources. One of the things that I found myself buying early on was that uh, warning that an alien attack was, was coming because I have not yet learned how to uh, keep time in my, in my head while I'm down digging. So we can go in right away and do upgrades and we can buy the radar, the warning radar. And I think this game is just a delight. So you can see, uh, I'm gonna have to rescale here. Give me one second here. I wanna rescale my video game screen because you can't see in my overlay um, how I've uh, got that timer in the lower left hand corner. So I just wanna reshape things here. Give me one moment. I think the trade-off is going to be though. Okay, I see. So if we do this, and then I crop the top, we can get away with that. There. It's always something that you oversight when you haven't streamed in a while. All right, see, we got through it though, no problem. Okay, let's resume. So now you can see the battery in the lower left hand corner. That is my timer before I uh, have my first alien attack. So I better haul up there now. How do I drop something? Oh, you hit. The you hit the B button. Oh, okay, so I don't have to hold A. I just tap A to pick up what I want to pick up. Very cool. All right. Let's see if we can go to upgrades here. And we will augment the drill. I guess those are the obvious choices when you first start learning to play this game. And... The cool thing is that the the game pauses when you're in the computer, so that's kind of neat. So now I got to use the computer to battle. All right, here we go. Right in the head. Hey. Okay. There's one wave in the can. In the can, in the can. So let's go this way now. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we'll drop two, because I don't think I can lift more than three comfortably. And then we're going to go back down and get the rest, because I'd really like to increase my speed if I could. 
There we go. Cool. And then I think you just hold A when you want to pick something else up. So I'll pick up one more. There we go. Oh, I love the controls. The controls are very intuitive. If you haven't played this game, you really should. Alright, so now we'll go to upgrades. And this is improve jetpack power. This is improve the jetpack to carry more resources. So let's carry more. And let's dig before we grab that one. Okay. Oh, we got to get back to the top. I always oversight looking at the battery. <laughs> oh, that's going to get a few hits. Right in the head. Right in the head. Shoo, birdie. Shoo. Okay. We can live with that. We need to find more stuff over here. Maybe if I dig through the harder stuff. Ooh, this is new. What is this? Okay. What did I get? I don't know what this is. Uh, okay. Pick a gadget. Shred the gadget and gain two cobalt. Oh. Uh, install an automated lift that brings mined resources up for processing in the dome. Oh, wow. That's interesting. And Dil Drillbert. Adopt a lovable creature that loves to dig. Carry it into the mine and drop it off where you want it to work. Check back to wake it up when it goes to sleep on the job. <laughs> so I guess you better keep it close by. Boy, you know, that lift sounds really interesting. I'd have to think that that is a very time efficient toy right there. Look at that. So if I keep digging straight down, oh, And then I can just let go of stuff. Will it... Okay. I'm assuming I have to activate it. Let's see if I have to activate it. It's got to be... Hmm. Okay, well, I got to fight first. So let's battle. Oh, it gets more interesting now. Oh, something's flying. Okay. Okay. Shoo. Okay. So how do I get that lift to work? Uh, let's look at some upgrades here. Uh, we should try and fly faster. And I don't really have much else. I mean... Okay, we can just display the health, I suppose. That's not going to hurt. I love spending stuff. That's kind of... Okay, so what's the deal here? Oh, interesting. So it's sort of like a gravitational pull. Oh, how cool is this? All right. So by attaching to this, will it just go up? Okay, I don't think I quite have the hang of that yet. Okay, those are just, oh, this is, it's like a current, I guess. Is that the idea? Ah, uh, okay. So will that, 
bring up that last little resource? It does. Okay. Very, very cool. So it's probably not good to just have it go down far. Oh, I got to get back up there. I forgot again. Oh, this is... It's like rubbing your belly and tapping your head at the same time. I know, this is not good. I think I might have to repair some stuff. Okay, since I'm here, let's get this one. I'm going to get hit a fair bit on the other side, though. That's the only problem. There's got to be some... Re I think I remember doing some repair stuff. Ooh. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Let's repair. Is there any repair stuff? And I got to remember that when I'm in this screen, I don't have to rush. Repair damage to your dome with cobalt. Okay. Permanently increase the structural health of your dome. I'm short one there. Add targeting sights to the laser, showing where it is aiming. Nah, I don't think that's worth it. Increases how much damage the dome shield can absorb. That's an interesting one. And this is an electro blast, which is trigger an active combat ability that creates a deadly field effect around your dorm dome. Dorm. <laughs> And this is overcharge shield. Use water to manually overcharge your shield. I have company. One moment. Yeah. What's up? It's okay. What's up? Oh. Yeah, but he said it was usable. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll have to deal with it later. All right. I've got my son who has purchased a game called Hunting Simulator 2. And I think the fact that I am playing something in my Steam account is keeping him from playing something in his Steam account. I share my games with him. So he might be experiencing a problem because of that. I have to look and see what's up at some point. He's been waiting all day to play this game. Okay, so this time I want to keep a better eye. Can I lift all this? Ooh, this is good. Okay. It's slow, but I can. So now I want to look for the ball that's going upward. And I'm probably... Can I get... I mean, it's probably not even worth it. <laughs> Which is fine. We got it all up there. Um, there's going to be a fight soon anyway here. So let's see if we can upgrade like weapons or something like that. Proves the power of your laser, but it will move slower while firing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to come back in a moment. Uh, I have to deal with something upstairs. My apologies.
Okay, everybody, my deepest apologies. I have a, an amazing eight-year-old kid, and he was having a little bit of trouble today. Uh, he was learning soccer for the first time, and uh, the passes weren't coming as much as he's used to seeing them in hockey because he plays a lot of ball hockey. But he does not play a lot of soccer, and I could hear him really upset, and... Uh, He's more important than my video game. So, thank you for your patience. If you're here, uh, welcome to the Playroom Experiment. My name is Mike, and uh, I'm just playing this for the first time, and I really, really, really love this game. Um, I am going to... Ooh, I got a lot of depletion boost. The blast will last longer if triggered after your shield runs out. Not quite sure what that means. I don't um I don't really have well I do have water but I don't hey, hey Andrew nice to see you buddy how have you been I just saw your picture with Ed Robinson Robertson the other uh, the other day on Facebook was that recent or was that uh, like in Chicago or something it's nice to have you in here hey you know about tonight right I forgot. I gotta. I gotta let everybody know. Well, I mean, there's only a couple people in here right now, but uh, as you know, sir, we are doing this tonight at nine o'clock. Trivia Murder Party Two, and uh, should be uh, a pretty well attended event. That was like five years ago in Rally. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, no, I yeah, I, I uh, was going around uh, picking and choosing who I should send some invites to, and of course, it's. Uh, it's obvious that you would get an invite. You've, uh, man, I haven't seen you. I think Buffalo was the last time I saw you, but always enjoyed my conversations with you. You've remained a supporter of uh, the Playroom Experiment since well before the, I mean, we haven't had a fundraiser for over a year. And we are on the verge of placing our fourth pinball machine within a year during COVID. And, um, We've had to earmark some funds to do that, but the bottom line is people like you keep us going, delivering board game libraries. Um, I don't know if you've seen the pictures we took of, uh, we had a bunch of seniors playing pinball, but we've surprised them by giving them an old Chicago. And the students in Ontario, the students have to put in 40 hours of community service. So they're gonna come over and we're gonna have pinball days with the students and the, the seniors that live at the residence. So that's what your support is doing, man. And it's, uh, I haven't been able to uh, be as forthcoming about it because our family's been on a journey this year that hasn't been the best. We had, uh, we had bought a home, it was being built. And in January, the, the builder canceled 34 purchase agreements and we were one of those families. So we had already sold our home and we didn't have a home to go to now and everything was in boxes so luckily we were staying at my mother-in-law's house and uh oh my god what a year it's been so now we've moved two hours west towards my hometown my mom's living with dementia with my dad we moved both of them to the senior residence here this is where we put the pinball machine at and uh they're now two minutes from me and we live in the very town where um uh, I'll show some pictures and uh, probably tonight you'll see the pictures. I'll save the photos for tonight, but it's just unbelievable. We've had like eight gaming sessions uh, over the summer. The the library there, they've given me the keys to the building, man. It's <laughs> it's crazy. Like there's so much trust and latitude. It's I think it's going to be a really amazing year. So we'll talk more tonight. Uh, if there's anybody else uh, watching, yeah, here's the deal tonight youtube.com backslash playroom experiment or this twitch channel if you're watching on twitch at 9 p.m eastern time we're going to be playing uh, trivia murder party 2 tonight so if you're seeing this and uh you uh want to have some trivia goodness in your life this evening then please join us and we'll be talking a lot more about the playroom experiment yeah it's uh you know it's uh it it, it was um not a good thing to experience but you got to either buck up and find a way to get through it and, and be there for your family 
or it's just going to eat you alive and you become ineffective as a father and a husband and a person for that matter. You just have to decide, I'm closing this chapter and we're going to uh, move forward and, and find a way. This is exactly it. Everything does happen for a reason. And I, I feel like, uh, you know, I, I don't want it to be uh, too self-serving, right? Because I'm not the only person in the family. But for me, I have to wonder if something guided me to this town to bring the playroom experiment to this town. But, you know, like for all I know, I could have hit nothing but brick walls in the town that we were originally moving to, right? So... So what is new with you, man? You, I mean, you must, you got to tell me one new thing going on. Did you get a lot of golfing in this year? In the meantime, I got uh, the power of my laser. Let's, let's get some laser power. Oh, I got to move the laser faster. That's what I want to do. I want a faster laser. Okay. Um don't have a lot of time here to dig so I'm gonna stay up pretty close here we go let's battle so you're uh, oh you're teaching what grade level Ooh, there's a shot uh oh nice nice there is a, a perk on this game where you can add dots to your laser where it's going to aim. I have a theory that pinball players don't need such nonsense. <laughs> All right, where shall I go here? High school. Wow. So you're smart then. Okay. Not that I thought you were... Uh, lacking any uh, intellect when we've t spoken together in the past. <laughs> oh, that's some tough brick there. Am I a little crazy to try and... Oh, there we go. There ha I was going to say, I can I'm on some thick brick here. There had to be something special in here. Okay, I got to keep an eye on that alien gauge. All right, let's go get that. Not really the most uh, effective. Um, okay, well, I'm through it now. I guess I can. Oh, I got to get my butt up there. Boy, you really have to be weary of. There we go. Okay, battle time. Oh, oh, there we go. My word. Oh, 11th year teaching. Okay. Wow. Good on you, man. Teacher is the most underappreciated profession. Sadly. I can't stand it when people start saying, Oh, they get their summers off. Like, they just... They don't realize, I'm amazed at how many people don't realize what goes into lesson planning. You know what I'm saying? There are so many people that are ignorant towards that. It's crazy. Okay, I'm, I'm hitting some pretty hard stuff here. There we go. It's nice to finally find some stuff again. Can I move all this? No. We can grab six, though, I think. Can I get around this way? There we go. Nice little shortcut. See if we can shoot this up the elevator. That'd be nice. Oh, it's right there. Come on. Go, 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 go. All right. So that should bring it all up. Oh, how cool is that? I love that. That's so cool. Oh, man, oh, man. Oh, there's the blue stuff. That's water. Okay, I got to get up there. I'm going to get my butt kicked. Oh, what 
are these little guys? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on here? They're blowing up the inside! Oh, this is not good. This is not good. You can't let those little guys in there. Oh, this is not good. I gotta repair. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, Electroblast. I have a special thing. Oh, I didn't know I had that. Oh, man. This is intense. This game is called Dome Keeper. And I don't think you were here when I said it, Andrew. But I will tell you if, you, if you look at the marquee graphic that I have at the top, doesn't that look like, it, like if we could go back to the 80s when real arcades existed, tell me this game would not have a lineup behind it. I think it would. It's kind of got a mix of com uh, Missile Command with... I don't know, like I remember the game Out of This World and the, the lot of the monsters were silhouette shaded. It's got that kind of animation. I just, I think this game is so good. All right, we need uh, repair. Where is repair? I think it's up here. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. So now I only have, I don't know what all these resources are. I guess water is one. I think iron ore is the, the cheap one and I'm trying to remember what the, what the red resource is. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good, yeah, that's a good second choice. Dig Dug. Uh, yeah. So this game is, I think it's about 18 bucks I paid for it. And it's just, it's an awesome game. And I have about 30 minutes of playing experience. Like, I'm just scratching the surface here. So this lift is like an upgrade. Uh, that, that pink lane that you see there. I found a special artifact that allowed me to uh, build that lift. So that I don't have to go all the way up to my bunker or my dome all the time. Oh yeah, the water. Oh, see, there's another artifact. Check this out. So these are like special perks that you can find. Nice. And there's just so much variance. So see now... The, see how that little circle lit up? So now I can... Actually, I should probably bring this all the way up because I gotta choose my perk. Okay, pick a gadget. A stun laser allows me to install a laser that auto-targets and stuns monsters. I kind of like that. Resource converter can convert resources. Don't need that yet. Shred to cobalt. Cobalt is the expensive one. I want a stun laser. Very nice. Okay, we've got to go get more water down here. There, there was more. Oh, the aliens are coming back. This game... <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's not as stressful as Overcooked, believe it or not. They're moving faster, though. Okay, we've got to go get these little guys over here. No, 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 that's not the one I want. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. No, no, you don't. How'd you get through? I should have Electroblasted. I forgot to have that. Oh, this game is so good, man. It's so good. Okay. Back down we go. So let's go and get some more of this water. And then maybe we can go and get this iron ore too. What have I got? Auto pickup? Oh, it's like a toggle. Okay. Cool. Okay, so I'm halfway to another alien attack. So see now, if I drop 
all those, that lift is going to bring those up. And then I can just stay close to the ship, keep an eye on the gauge for when the next next uh, alien attack is coming. And maybe I'll get lucky and find a couple of things, but I'm not. Okay, so I need to get back up there. Oh, it didn't lift everything for some reason. That's fine. Okay, so let's see if I can upgrade before the attack comes. Um... I have 11. Oh, I would have loved to have had... Okay. You get more speed there. Can carry more. What is this? Move the laser faster. Or install a swivel head onto the laser that automatically corrects your aim if it comes close. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, I think I'm going to go for speed. Okay. And now we got a battle. Oh yeah, it does move faster. Cool. Hey, we handled that wave really well. Really well. Okay. So now where do I go? Do we go... Maybe over here. You'll notice that uh, the colors of the bricks, they have different thicknesses. So that's a really hard one. Not finding much here right now. Hmm. Oh, come on, really? Okay. I better get back up. Okay, well, that didn't turn out the best. Kind of came up uh, empty pan there. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to handle this. Oh. Okay. I can see why you might want that auto correction a little bit. What do we have for upgrades? We don't have a lot of. Hmm. The health of our dome is pretty good so far, but we got to go find more stuff here for sure. I feel like if I go back to where I have been, because I found absolutely nothing over here. That's... You'd have to think there'd be something down this way. Okay, we got some water. I need more than that. I need... Oh, we're entering a new territory. Okay. Sheepers. Oh, this is getting thick. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm not finding anything, though. That's the problem. Wow. I am not having any luck whatsoever. I hear the thunderstorm. 
The thunderstorm of aliens. All right. I think I'm in trouble this round. Oh my word, I'm getting just destroyed here. Okay. Oh, I'm not done yet. Okay, my little uh, laser sensor is not the greatest in the planet. No pun intended. Where do we go here? Oh, I think there's stuff here. Just happened to catch that corner. Oh, look at all that stuff. Okay. We need to do some repairs. Okay. Chew it up. So now we've got eight and seven. Um, Uh, okay. I don't have that in inventory, though. That's the only problem. I don't have repair. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, shh, shh, shh. Increase how much damage the dome shield can absorb. The blast will last longer if triggered after your shield runs out. I'm not sure I know what that means. Use water to manually overcharge your shield so it absorbs more damage in the next wave. Okay. Add a small amount of damage to the stun laser. Um... No, I don't think I want that. Install an additional lifting orb. Oh! You know, I'm finding that I'm not really using it right now. So that has to do with my gadget. Don't have enough there for that. Improve the jetpack to carry more resources. I feel like we need some strength. We're gonna buy some strength here. But this is not going well. I need to find uh, cobalt. And I need to find cobalt quickly. Oh my goodness, you're serious? Oh, they're already coming? Oh my goodness. That was fast. <clears throat> oh, I have hardly any health. I'm going to die here. Yeah. I don't see this going well. I'm surprised we survived that. What I really need is a health boost. Can you... You can only buy it once. So I really got to find some iron ore around here. Um, I'd like to think that I could find it around the top somewhere. 
Since the drill is... Oh, there we go. Okay, there's some. Good. Can we find more? I need one more. I need one more iron ore. Okay. Nice. Oh, very nice. Okay. Oh, and some water, but I've got piles of water. What I really need to do is find the cobalt. Okay. I want you to drop the water. Drop the water, please. Okay, well, I have to take at least six of these with me. Oh, man, I don't even know if I'm going to get up to the computer in time for that alien invasion. Because my health is really low. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, get in there. Okay, we boosted the health. And now we got to fight. All right. Let's see what we get here. Let's get these. I'll take care of the sky, or at least I'll try to. The nice thing is, is once you've got a laser on them, on the, uh, they can't disappear, the, the flying objects. Wow. Hey, for a first full game, I, I would like to think that this is not terrible. Okay. I'm carrying way more than I should be. Can I get to that lift? That would be nice if I could do that. And then I can head back down. Well, alright. Let's get the rest. Hopefully we can get back in time. Oh, okay. Bing, bang, bang, bong. Absolutely. Achievement unlocked. My savior. Okay. Cool. We really need to buff up our health, but I don't know if we have the resources still to do it. Alright, let's see what we've got here. This is harden the dome surface to take less damage from monster melee hits. Uh, oh, is this interesting? Okay. So the cobalt is all associated with defense. Um, interesting. I've only got seven. I got a pile of water here that I have not used. Well, I might as well spend that. That's not going to do me much good right now. Um... Okay, let's see how much damage it really absorbs, I guess. Let's do, oh, stun laser moves faster. Let's go that way instead. I still have seven water. Oh, they're already coming. Okay. We 
shooting the wrong things, man. Yeah, I figured as much. Oh, wow. All right, so let's see. Oh, you get some stats here. Okay, so I survived 13 waves. I killed 53 monsters. Played for 25 minutes. I destroyed 321 blocks, traveled 5 kilometers, found 74 things on a small map. Oh, you get to keep something for the next run. Okay, well, what are these things? That's the lift. Oh, and that's the dome laser. Um, boy, I wonder if I got to learn how to use that lift better. Hey, Ty, how you doing? Yeah, that wasn't bad. That was the my first full game. So, I don't know. You played the demo. I remember you were telling me last night. What do you think here, man? Do I want an auto laser on my dome or do I want the lift? If I keep the lift, I got to make sure I start using it better. That is for sure. Got it from an app. <laughs> <laughs> Your timing is impeccable. Yeah, I thought I would uh, do a little bit of a longer test stream today playing this game. Um, it was unfortunate. As soon as I started, I had uh, purchased... Uh, my son wanted this game called Hunting Simulator 2. So I bought it, but I bought it under my account. I'm so used to just sharing games with him. I forgot that when I'm playing anything in my account, he can't play anything. So, yeah, depend. Uh, I, I guess that's the answer to everything, right? Your play style has to match the things that you're going to use. I think I'm going to take the dome laser, to be honest. Um, actually, gosh, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to take the dome laser. Gadget to keep. Stun laser. There we go. That's very good. Very, very good. All right, everybody. We are getting ready to order perch dinners tonight. And uh, that will be my meal break because I'm coming back at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. That's three hours from now. We're playing Trivia Murder Party 2. If you've never played before, you can certainly connect with your smart device. Watch on youtube.com backslash playroom experiment or twitch.com backslash playroom experiment. Just fire up uh, your device, whatever is uh, on your television. Put it on your YouTube or Twitch channel. And you can use your phone to uh, connect and play. Ty, I hope you've had a good day. You can't go wrong with a nap. Nowhere to go but up after you wake up from a nap. Uh, and like good athletes do, maybe that will prep you to join us if you feel like uh, staying up in the wee hours of your morning in Israel. But uh, nice to see you two days in a row. Andrew, nice that you stopped in too. And uh, anybody else that uh, swung by, thank you for hanging out for an hour or so. We're going to be back at 9 o'clock. You asked me earlier today, I do, I multi-stream, I, I use Restream, um, and I don't typically add Facebook to it, um, not yet anyway, I typically just stick to YouTube and Twitch, and one of the benefits right now is that a lot of our community outreach, like our audience, I think will typically use YouTube. Oh, the auto message, yeah, yeah, I did set that up. Yeah, I set up the bot um, to do that uh, as well as um, I set up a Lukey Plays Games one as well. But mm, not sure if I saw that one pop up. Yeah. Yeah, I did see the uh, the donor link though, so I'll look at the other one. Anyways, uh, wishing everybody a good day and uh, thanks for watching. We will be back in three hours time for some party gaming and I can't wait to see uh, who shows up for that. I think that'll be a, a nice crowd. It's been uh, advertised well in this little small town that I live in. And my understanding is that on the event that I set up, there's about 20 people planning to come right now. 
Um, so that should be a lot of fun. All right, this is the Playroom Experiment. My name is Mike. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all. Ty, take good care, buddy, if I don't see you tonight. And uh, there we go. There's the Lukey Plays Games. It just popped up. There it is. Yeah, it should be a nice little crowd. Uh, looking forward to it. And, of course, some of those uh, people you would have connected with at our 24-hour stream from uh, just over a year ago. I guess it would be about a year and a half ago we did that now, right? Um, we're planning another one of those. Uh, by the way, probably, probably do the first one in December, I'm thinking, would be nice. So, all right, that's going to do it for me. It's dinner time. We'll catch you all later. Have a good day, everybody.